Do you see who that is rising in the fog over there? <gasps> Ahoy there! Oh no! Oh, not the booty! Going right through his booty. What the f- <laughs> What is wrong with this game? Oh my god. <laughs> There's Look at that! Like yes! Yeah. Oh, come on. Like that just goes right through him. Victory. Oh. And it gets stuck on something, apparently. It passes right through me, boyo. I am a ghost, boyo. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot hurt Joel White Crubs. Do you see that? Yeah. Smack him. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can do that. <laughs> All right, hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatsui 101. And welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrate, or Dehydrate, because honestly, God, this is the inferior version of this game. Yeah. Uh, this is the unfinished version. That said, we're actually playing under a better patch now. I will go over the patches probably around the end of this video. It's mm -hmm. nowhere near enough to make this game good. Yeah. But it is slightly better. Okay. So shall we begin on to the, uh, the second yeah. area, or yeah. the third area of the hub? Mm-hmm. Travel to the industrial park. Oh. The industrial park. Wow, they made that thing look way less terrifying. Yeah. Why does Sandy look like she made of clay? No, right? I don't know, that, that ice looks really good. Yeah. This is like, dude, like that looks really good. Sandy looks really bad. I know, SpongeBob's so expressive. But I don't like his design. Wow, I'm actually kind of disappointed with the way Patrick looks. Yeah. Get to it. Oh, Yikes. oh, okay, we're throwing right in. <laughs> so yeah, a big part of this boss fight in the original was that um, the Patrick route was like absolutely terrifying. Yeah, and it's I remember not. That. Also, wow, they made this part way easier. Damn. Because you can see where they're gonna land now. <laughs> yeah. They made that so easy. <laughs> He looks so goofy. I know, which I guess is a better tone anyway. Yeah. But that kind of has me disappointed. No, I know. I kind of missed how terrifying he looked. That was like the appeal to this fight was that it freaked you the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, listen to this music. Mm. Do you hear how scary that music is? Yeah, it fit really well before. Yeah, it was clearly meant for like what this boss is supposed to look like. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Also, they made this so easy by having the targeting thing. I really yeah. don't think they need to die that target thing. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my god. Like, the, the panic of this phase is gone. <laughs> you just, like, move a little to the left. Oh, uh, that's so disappointing. Oh yeah. well, at least they sped up this fight. That's good. Much like with the Sandy fight, this fight kind of sucked because it was just, like, so slow-paced in the original. Mm-hmm. Also, the song's awesome. I know. Oh, stretchy arms. That looks really good, actually. That yeah. Nice. Claymation Sandy. Yeah, why is she clay? Why isn't she fuzzy? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, much like the first boss, you get to play as another character for the second mm -hmm. phase, and this game obviously- Oh! Ooh. It's broken, Sandy. All right. At least when you're in the air, you can't see whether they're going to hit you or not. Yeah. So some challenge. Right. So you have to kick him in the back. Uh, but what I like about this phase a lot is that every single time you hit him, he'll actually- like, uh, pour more hot goo down. See, the acid? <laughs> yeah. Which he's eating, I guess, in his ice cream cone. So, like, this is actually kind of cool. Yeah. That said, they made this so easy. They really did, from what I can see. They just, like, nerfed the difficulty. Of it. Like, look. Mm -hmm. I'm safe. <laughs> Sandy's just casually standing there, <laughs> like Alvis in Xenoblade. Oh, my God. Uh, weren't boxes supposed to come out there? Uh, oh, oh no, you're supposed to take a hit. Okay. Oh, oh. Why did the boxes not fall down for me to stand on? That's weird. Because this game isn't finished? Is that why? Oh my god, that's... Mm. I mean, that said, I kind of like to put the ice cream cone in his stomach pocket. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of cute. That's kind of cute, yeah. It's like, that's a nice touch. But then, like, this is a fucking mess. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of at a loss for words by how they destroyed this boss. Yeah. Like, look. Oh, there are the boxes. But they're supposed to be by him! What? <laughs> okay, well, I could just do that. I feel like Purple Imp did not understand how this game's supposed to work. No. Alright. Oh, he's back. Look at him, like, like, it's okay, Squidward. They're there. <laughs> Calm oh, yourself. <laughs> just, what, why did the camera not face me towards him when this started? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 
Look, watch me just stand here. Watch SpongeBob <laughs> win by doing absolutely nothing. Mrs. Puff, I don't really feel like I did anything. And we're well, bam. Oh, I always hated this part because <laughs> I couldn't aim the balls. Where's the sound effect? Oh. Uh -huh. Where was the sound effect? For oh. I didn't take damage from that. Even though I land on like the the ice cream gook. Yeah. I feel like this is missing all the sounds. Look at this. Oh, it just rolls into the acid now. Oh, wow. I actually kind of like that. That's a nice change. So, yeah, he's not making any of the sounds he makes. A big part of what made this fight so scary for me is that Robot Patrick makes all these, like, really creepy mechanical groans, mm -hmm. and he just doesn't do that anymore. Yeah. I feel bad for kids who grow up playing this version now. I know. Because, like, never know. this is just, like, there's no atmosphere, there's no personality, there's no challenge. Mm -hmm. but that was, that was awful. Yeah. I don't... I really didn't want to go into Let's Play to be all negative. I love Battle for Kingy Bottom. But this is so disappointing. This this remake has been nothing but disappointment. This isn't this isn't good. Yeah. I can't think, like, why would you recommend this version over the original? Because it's a little prettier? There's no yeah. personality in it. <laughs> and it's such a disappointment to me. Alright, but now we unlock the third phase of the hub. Nice. The crusty crab. The crusty cribble. <laughs> After we go through this very long loading screen. Oh my god, I forgot how long this was. Wow, it's still loading. Still loading. <laughs> and all that loading, I couldn't have finished loading the Krusty Krab texture. Oh my god, it just popped in. What was the point of having those loading screens if I wasn't even going to finish loading? <laughs> Come on. The security system, it won't let you in unless you have 75 golden spatulas. <laughs> Good job, Plankton. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chub bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, um, Angry SpongeBob. I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, something's busy here. <laughs> SpongeBob's genius detective work. All right, so here we are on the third phase of the hub. Yeah. Should we go up over to Bubble Buddy? Yeah. Bubble Buddy. Bubble Buddy. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Positively, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had. I was literally just thinking he doesn't have pinkies. <laughs> they thought of it. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, He looked weird with pi uh, pinkies. Yeah. Paying my entire salary and attention. I don't think I've ever seen this dialogue. I was just mashed through it. Really? And you'll blow a bubble that you can steer. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. That wasn't lip synced at all. You've got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. <laughs> I'm a bubble blowing <laughs> maniac. All right, so this is the cruise boat. Oh, geez, that control's different. <laughs> all right, they. Flip the inverted controls, which I guess makes sense, but I'm used to it being so inverted. Yeah. So this is really cool. This is a guided bubble missile. Mm -hmm. I heard that they completely nerfed the range on it, though. Really? Yeah. I'll have to see for myself. That's what I've heard from people. Alloop. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. oh, you can't get on the top? I can. Oh, there you go. I do what I want. <laughs> Look at that. The sponge does what he wants. You can see out all the fog. Oh, wow. All the fog everywhere. Wow, that is a lot of fog. At least it makes sense by the graveyard. Yeah. But that is a lot of fog, geez. And everything is so close. Fog Mountain. <laughs> yeah, really? There we go, another golden spatula. Also, what I really like is that this phase of the hub, they have uh, thunder tiki's floating around on the uh, flying mm. tiki's. That's for you to like shoot out of the air with the cruise ball from the ground. Oh yeah, the practice, that's I cool. think that's actually a really nice feature. Wow, this fight is so much slower than I'm used to. <laughs> so for instance, uh, that didn't blow it up. Let's, let's try that again. It maybe didn't go far enough because it flies so slow. There we there, go. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> they very objects. slowly yeah. come towards <laughs> me. <laughs> Eventually, they'll get here. Yeah. And? Ooh, yeah. Wow. Golden undies. Six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. You better believe that. Like oh, and oh. he has another quote. <laughs> um, so here in the third phase of Hub, you get access to the last three worlds, being the uh, the kelp forest over there, mm -hmm. the Dutchman's graveyard over there, and this pile of rocks where you, I guess you have a campfire. <laughs> the campfire song song. Yeah, really. Additionally, there's this over at the other end of the hub. Boats. Mm -hmm. The movie. Oh. It's the movie theater. 
Um, am I supposed to talk to someone? Oh, ticket sale. There we go. I help you? So you need 40,000 shiny objects <laughs> to get in here. Holy shit. Let that sink in. 40,000 shiny objects to get in here. Oh my god. Um, let me bring up the HUD. As you can see, we have 12,000. Oh my god. Now, I previously mentioned that grinding and rehydrate is abysmal mm -hmm. because you can't get the super ultra mega monster combo anymore uh every time you die in order to reload the, the area of the room there's a loading screen and on top of that they upped mr crab's shiny object requirements by more than three times the original amount yeah the only change in this patch i feel like is worth mentioning well one on two change in this patch worth mentioning mm -hmm. is that they've lowered the shiny object total back to the original game for mr crabs oh good and thank god whoever thought they should up that needs to be fired yeah because that is so stupid yeah, like, why? Now, the other change they made well, it deals with the uh, the movie theater. We'll go over that probably in the epilogue video. Mm -hmm. But I'm very happy they changed that back, too, because that was really stupid. <sighs> Me, too. There's no other word for it. Just stupid. So why don't we go around back to the Krusty Krab? Yeah. Do you remember this? Back into the booty. Oh, the dumpster. Krabs is a... Uh... <laughs> just smack it. <laughs> just appears. No ceremony. No, it just It's just there. Yeah. Also, see these thunder tiki's? Yeah. Bam. The crew's well can just go right through the stone tiki's. And it doesn't hurt you. That's nice. Yeah. Should we talk to Joe White here? He uh, looks like he mm. wants to see something to say to us. All right. Would you help me pull up my pants, me boy? You so You're good. not the real Mr. Krabs. What do you mean? It is I, Joe White Cra I mean, uh, Mr. Krabs. The real Mr. Krabs. <laughs> they booted me out. They booted me out with boots. <laughs> What's a voice crack? It doesn't sound anything like the other. Look at him. Me shiny objects. Look at this violent Joe. He's like, I'm gonna claw them with me claws, boyo, and then punch them with me claws. Me big meaty claws. Smiling the crusty crab. Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? Mr. Joe White. Meaning you are going to clear the robots. Didn't Plankton just make that same joke? Yeah. Now he's just mooching off of other characters' jokes. That's Joe White Krabs for you. Yeah. All right, me. so shall we go in there? Yeah. So just like with the tree dome, we have this little raw battle here, and I actually love that they added fish running around, although she's yeah. just casually... Okay, she's just like, all right, no Meanwhile, problem Meanwhile, she was having like a seizure over there. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Get set and go! All right, first thing I try to do is take out the raw machine up here, except yeah. I can't because I completely changed oh, the cruise geez. level control, so never mind that. Um, Scooter just has time to dab. All this chaos and Scooter doesn't care. Oh. He just straight up doesn't care. Yeah. Let me see if I can just get like. Oh. oh can God. I see what I'm doing, please? Ow. Can I. Oh, Jesus. Can I see what I'm doing? That'd be nice. Yeah. Okay, there, take you go. A, there we go. Man. There's just like chaos going on here, and like Rehydra is not a finished enough game for a chaotic scene like this to work. Yeah, I know. All right, new little robot here. This is our another like small mini robot. Oh, like we him. had, uh, what was it? The bomb boss for the new one for like the second phase of the game. This and the third phase is like the little laser boy. Yeah. He only hurts you when the laser's yellow, when it's green, it doesn't do anything to you. Mm -hmm. Get rid of him, he's irritating. I know, really. All right, I'm just gonna take out the uh, Thunder Tiki, which is levitating. Yeah. <laughs> Why was it just levitating up there? Oh my god. Because this game's so finished, this, right? This, yeah. And bam. I really did like this level a lot. I like how the fish are here, that's a nice touch, but. Yeah. Oof, that was not fun. Mm mm. I feel like this game's physics engine just isn't finished enough to make something that work. Also, why is it so opaque? Dude, what's that creeper doing there? I don't know. He's being a mime. <laughs> like, I feel like this made sense when it was Sandy's tree dome, because there was yeah. air and not water. But, like, why is this so opaque outside the Krusty Krab? I've never seen it look like this on the show. No. That's weird. Usually you look out the window, it just looks like the rest of the show, right? <laughs> At least there's breakable stuff in here, because I got rid of that, like, everywhere else in this game. Oh, jeez. And mind you, there's a reason for breaking it all. Yeah. I Bam. figured as much. Although this is like, it doesn't feel good to break. It feels too weighty. Hmm. It doesn't feel like satisfying, you know? I do like the crow's nest there too. That's a nice touch. Yeah, that's cute. Bam. The... Um. I think you missed a box. Where? Right behind you. Yeah. Oh, I thought I got that. Oh, and we also had to break all the, uh, mm. the stools and stuff. SpongeBob, you're ruining me restaurant, me boy <laughs> 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 oh. I wish I could see him outside. Oh, just smack the thought. <laughs> Um, she likes that. Oh, she does, does she? Mm. You can break the ketchup and mustard. Oh, and this. I wish you could go back there into the kitchen. You can kind of see it, which is nice. Yeah. See that? I see ketchup. <laughs> I know in the original version, there's a way to like, clip the camera back there, but it was tricksy Aww. to do. Am I missing something? Did I break uh, everything? I thought you did. Oh. Oh. There's... There we go. And a sock nice. in the crow's nest. 
Why is it called a crow's nest? Just because it's... Because like it's a, a pilot where a crow would make a nest. Hmm. Why did the music just start over? <laughs> Why did the music just start over? I don't know. This game is so broken. And with that, I think that's actually the final sock for Bikini Bottom. Sweet. Nice. Isn't that great? Yeah, that feels good. So, shall we go back to Joe White for our reward? <laughs> oh, no. Um, there is no hands on that clock. You know, I like been... it that way, SpongeBob. I don't need to know what time it is, boyo. I always know. It's <laughs> Joe White o'clock. <laughs> Joe White 30. You know, I feel like it would have been a nice touch to make it maybe display, like, the current time in real life. Yeah. No, instead they just got rid of the hands. Okay. God. Although I don't know if the hands were on the original or not off the top of my head, but mm. still. I th they should be there no matter what. That would have been a nice thing to add if it wasn't. Oh, we forgot everything has to, like, pop in one at a mm -hmm. time. Like, look at that sign. Oh, oh my. my god. All right, Joe White. Oh I cleared out your crusty crab. Oh, no. There for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's not even close. You know, Mr. Kai's is like the super distinct. Like, ag, 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 ag. Yeah. He got the letters wrong. He did R, 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 R. That's like dog Joe White crabs. <laughs> it's his dog. <laughs> Joe White dog? Yeah. All right. Now, you might think this would be where we went off this episode. However, we're actually going to quickly backtrack to a few other levels to get a couple things we couldn't get our first time there. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you in a sec. So over here in Jellyfish Fields 1, there was this little uh, bowling thing we couldn't do earlier. Yeah. Very simple. Just stand on this, bowl the bowling ball, and see how broken the physics are in this game. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my god. That one just went like... <laughs> shot off to the side. My god. Ah, <sighs> you know, I was just supposed to knock them all over. Why don't I have my aiming reticule like I did in the yeah. original? Like, excuse me? But there's, like, the reticule for the uh, tartar sauce. But not for, like, what I'm doing? Yeah. My god. If you come back here in Jellyfish Part 3, there was this little button here that we couldn't interact with before either mm -hmm. by the tartar sauce guy. And what hit me? What hit me? I have no idea. So you stand on this, and you can use the cruise ball to try to take out the uh, flying tiki's. Mm -hmm. Wow, that range is pathetic. Oh, jeez. Wow, that range is pathetic. My god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> <sighs> you used to be able to take out two of these at once with one explosion. By just aiming for the middle of them. The good you know, old days. Something that was actually like fun to do, felt rewarding and good. Yeah, now half the time it looks like you hit them and it just like grazes the outer edge. This is not a good mechanic. I don't no. like what the- Oh my god. I don't like what they did to the cruise bubble here. And yeah, I'm getting used to the new controls too, but like, why is the explosion range so bad? Mm -hmm. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. And of course, over here in Jellyfish Fields Part 1, there was this freezy fruit we couldn't interact with the first time here. Right. Now, technically, you could have gotten this one as soon as you unlocked Patrick, but I figured we'd just come back and get it when we were already going backtrack through the area anyway. Yeah. Another one? Sparkly thingies. Oh. And of course, back here at the Sea Neal, there's an entire golden spatula we couldn't get. Mm -hmm. I do not like that take did, of that. Yeah, did they change that? Um, Why? he had both takes in the original, uh, but he only used, like, the better one. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, and then I think I can actually switch back to Sandy. I don't think I need to say SpongeBob, because I trust uh, platform better with Sandy in this mm -hmm. game. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, there we go. And this mission is actually titled Come Back with the Cruise Bubble, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Bam. Oh my god. The kid deserved it. Violent Sandy. She learned from Spongebob. Oh no. That animation looks so broken. Yeah. Just like all the other gameplay animations in this game. <sighs> so disappointing. <laughs> what, this whole game? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, and I can't... I can't get the swingy hook now. <laughs> so you say it's just like... Well shit. Well shit, Spongebob. There we go. Oh, that's right, you have to hold it down. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right, some, someone never played the original. <laughs> Alright. Bam. And the final sock for this area. Nice. And with that, that is everything I want you to catch up now that we got the cruise bubble. So join us back here next time as we head onward. Oh, I wanted to get it with that. Aww. Join us back here next time as we head onward to the kelp forest. See you all there. Bye-bye.